Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Rajangat Singh here, and I welcome you all in today's very new, cool, exciting tutorial. To shoot this video, first make your actor stand on a stool or on a chair and ask him to make a jump. Also, shoot a clean plate. Now, let's bring this clip in After Effects. So, here we have just simple seven steps. First, actor in air. Second, make the actor fly. Third, making superpowers. Fourth, animating superpowers. Fifth, adding lens flare. Sixth, modifying actor animation. And seventh, adding particles and debris. So this is our clip here and the first thing we need to do here is to rotoscope our actor. And for that we'll double click on this layer, select this roto brush tool and start selecting the actor. Actually this time rotoscoping will be very easy as the actor is not moving much. So after completing all these required frames, uh, let's turn the feather to 15 and reduce chatter to 80%. Now back in the main comp, now bring in the clean plate, nice. Also we can scale down our actor to make it uh, look like he's standing in the air, nice. So when our actor is about to make a jump. Uh, yes, on this frame, we'll split this layer. Now hit P to open the position property and add a key frame. Now go four frames ahead and bring him up a little bit. Now go 6 frames ahead and move his position upwards some more. And finally go 6 more frames ahead and take him out from the scene. Nice. Now he's looking like he's flying. Now we'll make the super powers which will be coming from his shoes. And for that we'll use a free plugin from Video Copilot and that is called Saber. The download link is in the description, you can get it from there. So we'll go to layer and make a new solid. Rename it to Saber. Now go to effect, Video Copilot and choose Saber. So by default we'll get this cool looking light Saber. And here we'll make some adjustments. First change this preset to energy and change this color to blue. Glow spread to 0.1, glow bias to 0.98 and core size to 1. Now go under flicker and change the flicker intensity to 10% and under render settings turn the composite settings to transparent. Now let's adjust the core start and core end value to bring the superpowers under his shoes. Here we'll duplicate this saber layer and we'll now position it with the second shoe. Nice. Now we'll make that. Now we'll add keyframe on core start and core end and keep them adjusting their position when our actor goes up.
nice. Also of this second separate layer. So let's make these superpowers look more cool and for that we'll use optical flares plugin from video copilot but if you don't have you can go for uh, this effect generator and use this lens flare plugin but right now i'm going with optical flares so i'm going to layer make a black solid and let's add optical flares on it now we'll click on options and go to this pro presets folder and click on this antique digital and here just click on solo in front of this glow and click on ok now change the render mode to transparent and change the blending mode to screen now bring this flare on the shoe change the scale to 60 and brightness to 90 Also, let's duplicate this layer and take it on the second shoe. Add keyframe on position XY and keep on adjusting as our actor moves. Now you can see our actor is standing still uh, I mean he's looking like he's standing on something uh, because he's still we need to give him some motion and for that let's turn off the clean plate go to composition click on add to render queue and here we'll click on lossless change the channel to RGB plus alpha and click on ok rename it to first half and render it out now after it has finished the rendering just go back to our composition select all these layers except the clean plate and delete them yes delete them we only need this clean plate here so turn on this clean plate now we'll import a rendered file the first half file which we just rendered it out and here we'll hit p to open the position property and alt click on this stopwatch alt plus click and here we'll add a wiggle expression wiggle left bracket 2 comma 4 and bracket close so now you can see our actor is moving he's not at all still also you can if you want you can give him more motion you can make these values to 3 comma 6 or 4 comma 8 according to your requirement nice now we'll simply add these particle layers here and change their blending mode to screen
and when a reactor goes off from the scene, we'll add the debris effect. and change it to screen. Nice. Now we'll select all these layers, right click and pre-compose. And here you can add a real camera shake effect to give a handheld camera feel. So that's all for now guys. I hope you guys have learned and enjoyed this cool technique of making flying boots effect. And if you have any questions or suggestions, just write them below in the comment section. And until next time, take care.